So yes, guys, welcome to a new trash bin vid. Early February, but for me, it's still a relatively new year. And with it comes the new bag on my left-hand side, out with the old, in with the new traditional. Served me for just about three years, but wear and tear on the inside of all things has led me to upgrade to uh, same brand, but different layout. A dangerous Dunlop duffel. Let me know, are you team traditional or are you team duffel? Have you tried this out? Supposedly more space than this one but it leaves itself susceptible to disorganization and just one massive chamber where everything is just a hodgepodge, but not this one, as you can see. Plenty of customization options with the panels, nooks and crannies for you to pick and choose how you want your gadgets and gizmos to lay within. So let's take a look here, diving straight in to the new duffel. Whew, one massive compartment in front and center, in the middle. You gotta go with what's most important to start, and that would be the tools of the trade. Two of these, Dunlop FX 500 Tours, the stiff power racket of the line, 305 gram unstrung, 98 square inch head, 1619 string pattern, super tough market, saturated market that these have to compete in, but they get the job done for me. Not too thick, but enough there to give a little bit more oomph on the ball, and not too stiff, about 65, where it's not going to wreck the arm, but still going to give you a little bit more again, pop and uh, depth on your shot. So I got two of them, both with full beds of polys. And then on a certain day when I feel like mixing it up, got a 95 square inch head in this Prince ATS 95. Beautiful looking stick and uh, slices so nice. So good for the one-hander as well. Way too heavy. I have no business playing with it, which is why I only hit with it from time to time to mix it up. 320 unstrung, but again, nice to just mix it up and really knife those slices with that small control oriented head size. All right, again, front and center. This is a YouTube channel after all. And the tripod is not able to fit in this one. I used to have to lug it around by hand, but now I can actually put it in the bag, which is a huge plus and probably gonna tip the scales for me to keep this duffel after all. But this is of course, major, major tool for me to, of course, grab all the footage that you see on the channel. And then with that, the camera case, much needed to protect the uh, Acaso. Oh, no, 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 DJI Osmo Action. I've upgraded. Silly me. And this is military grade. Could fly out into outer space with this thing. That's how hardcore it is. All right, this is pretty important, I would say. The life source. Not going to get very far without it. On the tennis court. Usually I carry more, but I've been frequenting some country clubs as of late. As a guest, I'm not that bougie. I'm not a member. And I've taken advantage of the coolers in between courts so but of course if i'm at a public park i'll bring much more of this and then with that same um you know theme the electrolytes if you haven't tried these or added these to your your life as a just active person you're missing out man game changer there with the electrolytes got to add them to the water all right this is going to come in handy particularly in the summertime just a couple months away here BNP powder by open. Any tennis head knows that that is tennis for Indian Wells, baby. Picked this up at the 2022 edition, the one that Taylor Fritz conquered and saw many of pros there. Upper right hand corner, if you want to see the vlog, I think you'll get a kick out of it. So, sexy towel that comes in hand, no doubt. All right, balls. Balls. That's a big one. I carry two at all times. One is the open uh, can. You know, I like to get my use out of the three, four dollar investment every can and uh, at least hit with it two times, sometimes three times, depending on the longevity of the sessions. But always have one lightly used again. And then, of course, the fresh can ready to go if it's going to be two hours plus. It's worth popping. So got those two options available. All right. Shoes, baby. What am I rocking? on my feet. Well, you all know I'm a shoe fiend, as you can see in my other video. I just released it. I got seven pairs, man. If I had to pick a favorite out of the bunch and show you guys right now, it's got to be these Nike Air Zoom Vapors. Almost dropped it. 9.5s. That's not the size. These are 11s. That's the name of the shoe. It's a re-release from five, six, seven years ago. The Swiss Maestro himself used to wear this, um, this style and uh, beloved by many tennis heads everywhere so nike listened and re-released so i picked up a pair i'm gonna give my thoughts in a more thorough fashion in a different video where i review 
compare and contrast with the successor, the uh, Vapora, the Air Zoom Vapor 11s. All right, got some flyers for UTR. I uh, do run the Flex League around here. So if I'm at a new court, I'll put up some zip ties on the cyclone fence to advertise and then Hyper G. Longshanks has asked me to string his rack. So um, I've yet to do that, gotta get on it. I will though. Change of clothes, summertime. Sweat like an animal, man. And there's nothing worse than uh, getting in the car on the drive home with a sweaty booty and a sweaty back and just ruining the interior of your car and just sitting, sopping wet nastiness. Just uh, again, on the inside of your car, I can't have it. So I always hop into some fresh clothes before doing that. Speaking of, uh, you know, combating sweatiness, got some wristbands here of all colors under the sun, neutral colors, black and navy. And if the outfit allows it a little bit more splash with some sea foam green and some coral. If you're one hander, you know the rule, man. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to tell you this. You can only wear one CC pot, Dominic team, Roger Federer himself put that theory to the test. But if you got a two hander, you're allowed to wear two. Of course I'm handcuffed. got the one hander. So I'm only allowed to wear one at a time. I got some more here. These are longer, larger. Um, so I like to mix it up again, more fun colors and patterns, but always got a plethora of wristbands on hand. Sun, uh, is can be a problem depending on the time of day and location so i get carry the hat sometimes i want to be that d1 douchebag you throw it on backwards can't really go wrong um so there you go adi does straight up tennis hat sweaty clothes we talked about it got to throw it in the bag and an extra shoe bag not much to speak on there oh more camera items of every uh make and type of course that helps different courts different scenarios capturing the footage all right we're getting to the bottom here believe it or not i'm kind of flying through those are the main compartments let's go into the secret compartments we're going to get some much smaller items stencil ink is this the sign of a tryhard and does it backfire and is it actually kind of uncool to stencil your racket let me know what you think i do it i like the dunlop logo uh, i think it's cool i think it <laughs> I think it's a nice touch. So I do do it, but some people would argue that it actually tarnishes the fresh balls you just popped by leaving black smears on it after after hitting your forehand. So let me know, are, is stenciling your racket cool or uncool? I got a bad feeling that most people are gonna disagree with me and say it's kind of lame. All right, um, sport sunscreen stick, SPF 55. Gotta protect the tattoos from the dreaded sun in the summertime. All right, invest in your body, man. Take care of it. You only get one. Uh, let's see what else we got. Some overgrips, of course. Turna, tried and true. Best ones out there, and I just go with classic white. Uh, the theory is that if you have a colored grip, the dye in there actually makes it a little bit less tacky and uh, affects the longevity and the lifespan of it. So I don't know if that theory holds any water. You'll have to tell me for yourself in the comments below. But it... Uh, yeah, I think white is a classic look and it matches the rackets quite nice and it gets the job done, so I run with that. Zip ties, again, aforementioned flyers pair nicely with that. And a little bit of lead tape here, really getting to the bottom of the barrel here. I used to tinker around with customizing the racket much more. I've kind of just settled on the leather grip, I make it a whippier feel, so I don't dabble as much. This is something of old, and um, it's been a hot minute since I messed with specifications and customizing it to my taste. Kind of found what I like, and I'm not really gonna mix it up anymore. I'm not a tennis nerd uh, to that degree. I got some ankle braces. Uh, so sliding on hard court, I covet it so bad. It's so freaking cool. How athletic do you have to be to keep your balance to run it's, and stop so abruptly that you slide on an abrasive surface like this. I can only dream of it. And I tried it one time and to my chagrin, I jarred my ankle pretty badly. So now from time to time, I have to wear the ankle brace, particularly if I'm playing a full blown match. So you've been warned, slide at your own risk. And um, I can say without a shadow of doubt that unfortunately that is not in my portfolio. All right, wrapping up here, 
accessory pocket. That's exactly what I got here. Some accessories. iPhone something teen. Not a techie. Um, probably the f 14. <laughs> Who can say? A wallet trifold. Not much in it. The pockets aren't deep on this lad, unfortunately. And then some AirPods. Let me know what you guys think. Again, team traditional, team duffel question as old as time. And I've uh, got some matches coming up, springtime just around the corner. So stay tuned for a bunch of activity on the channel. Whatever happens, though, remember the trash and tennis. It's all about the tennis trash we've been. Let's go.